helping you to better understand the things that affect auger rotation. Step number one, remove engine safety key. So the first thing we want to do before working on our snow thrower's engine or auger or auger belts or anything is always disable the engine for safety. The engine safety key needs to be removed and by doing this you basically ground the spark plug preventing that from firing. The other thing I like to remind people is make sure that the unit is unplugged if you have the power start just to make sure we don't accidentally bump it because it will crank the engine even though this key has been disabled. Check the shear pins. Very first thing you want to do if your auger blades stop rotating is check the shear pins that actually attach the auger blade to the axle. This is the first line of defense and they're designed to shear or give way in the event that it hits something like a large piece of ice or a rock rather than damaging the axle or the gearbox itself. So check those first. One of the things we never want to do is put a different type of fastener in there. These are designed to give way. You notice that there's specific notches in here and uh, that's going to shear. That lines up with the actual auger itself. So make sure we never try to use any other kind of device in there because if it happens again, it's going to do what? It's going to damage that. What you're seeing is actually the axle part of the auger assembly and the shear bolt simply slides into place like that. Now you do have to line up the hole a little bit so as you're going to see here, line it up a little bit and it can pop in. And of course you want to make sure you do what? You want to make sure that you secure this knot. Keep in mind these are a lock knot so you don't need a washer for them per se but you do need to go ahead and secure them tightly. Uh, you won't be able to get a box wrench or an open end in here. You're going to need to use a ratchet set or a spin tight or some sort of device that you can open end and get these. So again, that's going to be your shear bowls. First thing you want to check for. The